I had had my chapel veil for about a year before I actually wore it. I remember it was two years ago, I was in the Adoration Chapel. I was just thinking and reflecting on the past month that there was really something missing. There was like a sense of being radical that was missing. It was the day after the feast of Saints Peter and Paul. I really prayed to the Holy Spirit that he could give me the grace to be radical like St. Peter was. And right away, I felt in my soul, God saying, wear the chapel veil. And like, that was it. It was so simple. And I was like, okay, Lord, I'll wear it. And the next day I wore it to mass and I've been wearing it ever since. I'm a convert to Catholicism and I came from an Orthodox Jewish synagogue and women had to cover their heads. So it was like second nature. I didn't have any problem with it at all. I was really pleased that I had the opportunity again. A lot of people think that the chapel veil is only meant for when Mass is celebrated in the extraordinary form, but Jesus is the same Jesus, so it's appropriate to wear at any Mass, not just the extraordinary form. A woman wearing a veil is pointing towards God. She's acting like a road sign thing. This is where God is because you don't wear the veil just anywhere. You only wear it when you're in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. So that is a clear sign that something very special is going on here. And it's a sign that God is present. It's very, very simple. The reason why I veil is out of reverence for my Lord. If you believe that that is Jesus himself at that altar, you come down with humility. Veiling yourself is actually part of humility before the Lord. Any woman, despite what she looks like physically, is beautiful. By wearing the veil, it enhances your femininity. You're recognizing your beauty, but you're recognizing it in such a way that you know that God is on the altar and that He is far more beautiful than you are. And so you're pointing to Him by wearing it. It's an old tradition. It's a beautiful ancient tradition. And it shows the importance and the value that is on women. And it's not a thing of making us subservient or putting us down. It's, it's an honor. Wearing the veil is completely about recognizing God's presence in the Eucharist. And it's completely about showing reverence for Him. By constantly veiling, it begins to work on your soul. You start to understand the importance and the dignity and the gravity of the Mass, and that it's a representation of the sacrifice of Christ at Calvary, and that this is like the most important moment in your life, really. The first time I was exposed to the chapel veil was at a retreat, and their entire retreat was so Eucharistic-centered. Part of that was seeing women wearing veils, and to see women humbling themselves before God really made a big impact on my soul. There's a stirring within our soul when we put the veil on. It just, it draws us to Jesus. It draws us to a prayerfulness. It makes us want to be holy. It draws us to, to what's deep within us, that feminine core that all women possess. It goes back to, to being Mary-like. By putting the cloth on your head, you're not hiding your beauty, you're revealing your dignity, and your, your beauty is being expressed in a different way. There's a certain degree of beauty that shines forth from the most beautiful of all God's creatures covering themselves so that God's presence may be more clearly aware to others. I've been wearing the veil for at least 27 years. I was brought up in a Jewish neighborhood and the Jewish people always covered their head. We are actually completed Jews in a sense and, and we are continuing with the vestments and everything, many of practices of the Jewish faith. The veil serves as a sign for others because it says that this is something different. God is really present in our midst and anything we can do to help draw attention to Him and to say that the Mass is special, the Mass is solemn, the Mass is something that we should take seriously and should change our entire demeanor for, I strongly encourage that. What I like the best about veiling is the sense of peace that it gives me. I feel a sense of the world stress leaving me. I feel a sense of just serenity and a greater, deeper love. 
Ultimately, what the church needs is a renewal in its Eucharistic faith. If the church is going to thrive, it's going to be because it returns to its roots at putting Jesus as the source and the summit of the faith. By exalting our Lord, then graces will flow. My mind will tend to drift frequently during the Mass. Oh, I need to go to the grocery. I what am I going to cook for dinner? But when I come in the church and put the veil on, for me, it's almost like a stop sign. All of those thoughts need to go away, and I need to give the Lord my attention. It, it's like you're in your little tent with God. You know, it helps you focus. It's like entering the Holy of Holies, that sacred place that no one could go into, that when you veil, you feel like you've brought him into your heart and that you've just got him all to yourself. And this veil helps me to be my own word with the Lord. I feel it frees me to give all my attention to him and, and women should not be afraid of the veil. You feel like it's gonna draw attention to you. I didn't wanna stand out. I don't like being different. It doesn't matter what the others are thinking or saying because that's really not what we're about. We're about focusing on our love and faithfulness to the Lord. You have to know who you're coming to see in the church. You're not coming to see other people. You're coming to see the Lord. And you do not have to care about who other people think. What does the Lord think about you? It's not about, look at me, I'm holier than you. It is about me showing my respect, submission, and love to Jesus. And that's all it's about. You are given example, whether we know it or not. You don't know who you may influence. I wish the parents can be encouraged to have their little girls start wearing veil to church from childhood. If we can show the younger generation the peace and the, the beauty of veiling, that it will just become a part of them like it was when I was young. No matter what you thought of it in the past, to try it and be open to it because it can really make a difference. Open your heart to God and listen. Don't be afraid of the traditional ways. They're beautiful. They're holy. You know, if you open your heart to it, you'll be touched by it in every part of your life and it'll just make your relationship with Mary, with Jesus, with the communion of saints just that much more beautiful.